I don't want to see this a fairy to come in at you with another deck review today. We are looking at the Diva first edition playing cards. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the Diva playing cards, the first edition, as it says on there, from uh, or designed by Alexandre Matancio, which I probably completely butchered, and printed by Carter Munde. Front says Diva first edition with a bunch of colors on here. The inspiration for this deck it's a geometric flat art with lots of vivid colors and it's inspired by uh, the Bauhaus style after the designer was doing some sightseeing in France and saw this Parisian art and he was inspired by this Parisian art that's done in this style and he decided to create a deck from it so it's pretty cool the Takes itself uh, it's just a very papery stock that's uh, kind of a matte finish it says diva on the one side the colors on the other side diva on top <laughs> and the bottom uh, all sorts of information it says it's 2018 first edition designed in Paris by Alexander Matencio and made by Carter Munde it's nice I like that they put that information on there how they did it, it describes you know the whole deck for you very well the back you get this little kind of a flowery color thing and then it says there's 3,000 available on the bottom no seal on the flap you just get that flowery thing again and like I said it's just a very papery stock with uh, no glossy finish or anything like that like a USB-C deck usually has but it's still nice and actually adds to it I think so inside you get a thank you card Thanking several people involved with the project on Kickstarter. We see the that design. Nice, again, vibrant, bright colors, interesting shapes and ideas. Very cool. You also get a blank card. Now, according to the information I saw on Murphy's Magic's website, there's also supposed to be a double backer, but I didn't see that. But that can be fixed with a little double sided tape. Voila, double backer. <laughs> Um, not the end of the world. The Jokers, you got that same thing that you saw on the back of the Tuckers. Joker in a multitude of colors. It's pretty cool. I like that. The colors are very bright and vibrant. Base of spades. Spades and clubs are in the bluest color. Hearts and diamonds in a reddest color. Custom pips on the aces. Right throughout with lots of geometric shapes and patterns. And the court cards, they look like that. They're I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, but that's what they look like. I guess that could be a person's hair and head. Could be wrong. Um, you will see that it is similar, like the jacks are all similar. The queens are all similar, and the kings are all similar. It's the different color schemes but basically the same figure for each court card and then the number cards are a little bit strange how to do the pips but they're interesting and again the blue for the heart clubs and the spades in the clubs red for the hearts and diamonds one thing i noticed as well is the pips how they are lined up or different from like suit to suit like here's the nine of spades it's like an x the nine of hearts looks like that the nine of clubs looks like that and the nine of diamonds looks like a diamond <laughs> kind of interesting uh they're not all quite like that but some of them are like that anyways like uh the sevens you can see the diamonds and the hearts are basically the same so they're not all necessarily like that, but pretty much. These are printed with the True Linen, the B9 True Linen finish from Carter Mundi, I should say. So they handle very nicely, and it's a super luck snock. I think that's the first time I've actually heard them name the stock that Carter Mundi uses on these decks, or this specific deck, the Super Lux stock. So 
Glad to have that information finally. Um, so I handled this very nicely. And that actually hurts because I did something to my thumb. <laughs> Anyways, it handles very nicely. Looks great. Court card's a little bit weird. Overall, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I like it. Beautiful, vibrant colors. I know not everyone's going to be a fan. It's, you know, some people don't like it. Some people are not. But I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Available for most card and magic sauce right now. Let me know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.